Hello everybody, my name is Adriana Bayoko and I am an artisan and I will help you in this process on how to create this beautiful, cuddly teddy bear. So I hope you enjoy um, this tutorial. I would say these tips for you to make your ballerina even more beautiful. Let's start. Hello everybody, my name is Adriana Bayoko and today I'm going to help you uh, with some tips on how to make this beautiful kit. So let's see what the pattern says. So the pattern says to start at arms, make two arms. I've already made one and you just follow the pattern according to rounds and the tip today is how to keep this seam straight, right? And it's easy. You always have to chain one to start a new round. I'm in round 16 now, almost finishing my second arm. You are going to chain one as usual and you are going to insert the hook into the same base, not in the next, into the same. By doing so, you keep your seam straight. If you count your chain as one stitch, this seam will go diagonally, right? So, I'm almost finishing my second arm. They look identical and the second tip is always count the number of rounds on each. It's easy because each round forms these kind of ridges. So you have to have exactly the same amount on both. I hope you enjoyed this tip and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Hello everybody, I'm here for part two of our kit. So, I showed you the arms and here they are. I finished them, they are completed. So, the pattern says to start at legs then. And I've already finished one. Easy, simple as the arm. And today I'm going to show you how to switch colors without leaving the next round with the contrasting color. Easy and simple. As you can see, I've already started, right? And what usually people do, they finish this round and then switch colors. No, this is the wrong way. As you can see here, this is my last stitch. So, I've already cut the contrasting color and you are going to add the color required on the pedal with a simple knot, nothing that special, right? I'm going to do it fast here just to, to show you, but just a knot. And then you see, I have pink. So you are going to close this round with a new color. You see? By doing so, you don't have any difference. And then you just started your new round. And as you can see here, no change. You see, just a, a beautiful way to switch colors. Thank you for watching and probably see you next time when I'm going to join legs. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's me, Adriana, again, part three, and I'm going to show you how I joined legs. Okay. After, once you finish leg two, do not cut yarn, and then you are going to follow the pattern. You are going to chain two and start working on leg one. So you are going to make eight single crochet, one increase, nine single crochet, and here in the chains, you are going to make two increases. It means that you are going to have one, two, three, four stitches. 
and then work on leg two. Nine single crochet, one increase, and then eight single crochet. And in the chains, you are going to make two single crochet and join round with one slip stitch. You should have a total of 44 stitches. And if necessary, if there is a gap, you can use uh, the tail of leg one and tape a string needle and close this gap. So I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Hello everybody, my name is Adriana Bayoko and I'm here to show you the body and how to add arms. As you can see, I finished the body and I added the arms. These front loops, uh, you will work use the skirt later, right? There for the skirt later. My tip is make sure before you add the arms that the seams are on back, like the central seam here too. And to add the arms, you are going to follow the pattern that says on, on round 33, you are going to make four single crochet, four single crochet, but joining, you see, you're going to join first arm, six single crochet, you know, this is the front, and then again, more four single crochet joining the second arm. And you are going to end with two single crochet and, of course, a slip stitch. Okay, so this is the end of the body. Hello, everybody. My name is Adriana Bayoko, and I am here to show you how to start the head of this amigurumi. As you can see here, you are going to start with one round that is not counted as a round. You are going to work into back loops only. So you are going to make slip stitches all around to reinforce neck. And then round 34 starts into the front loops only, right? So this is the way that you start the head. Thank you for watching. Hello everybody, my name is Adriana Bayoko and I'm back here uh, to show you how to attach the safety eyes. As you can see, I've already finished um, round 49 and the pattern says to attach sa safety eyes between row, rows or rounds 45 and 46, nine stitches apart. So first, as you can see, I even add some stuffing into the head just to see if they are positioned correctly. And remember to count visible, nine visible stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if they, you see, they are correct, they're straight looking at you here. After that, then you get the washers and lock them. Also, I've already finished the snout, just to see, you know, just in case, you can also do that. So as you can see with the snout, it seems that is correct, right? So remember to do that before proceed, because you know we are going now to close the head. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Hello everybody, my name is Adriana Bayoko and I'm here today to show you how to make an invisible decrease. So I am in round 51, so 17 single crochet and one decrease. So you are going to insert your hook in the front loop only of two stitches. Yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And this is the way that you make an invisible decrease. Hello everybody, my name is Adriana Bayoko and I'm here to teach you how to finish the head. 
as the pattern says, you are going to use your tapestry needle and you are going to insert into front loops only of the last stitches. I've already worked with most of them and you, as you can see here, you still have two to go. So that's what you're going to do. And all love the stitches. And then once you have all of them, just to pull tightly. And you see, you have a nice finish here. It's uh, exactly the same the way that you start. See, I always call it inverted magic ring. So this is the way you finish the head. Hello everybody, I am Adriana. By open today, I'm going to show you how to embroider the eyes. You see this tail here? You are going to start here. Insert your needle here, and then you are going to make one stitch around the eye, and then create two eyelashes here, two traces. And then you go straight to the other eye, do the same, of course, mirror them, and then you are going to insert your needle into the head until this point. And here is when you are going to cut yarn and make knots. And after that, make two, I'm making two just to make sure, right? You are going then to insert the inside of the head, right? See? You are not going to even see this. Let me use the tapestry needle that is going to be better. Okay, and then you see. So, this is the way you embroider eyes. Hello, everybody. I am Adriana Bayoko, and today I'm going to show you how I made this skirt. So, the pattern says to start on back, and you see the position. This is the way that you are going to crochet, not this way. You are going to, you see where the legs are, you're going to start this way, right? It's easier too, and you see the, the right side will be, will face outside. So you are going to work into the front loops of the body. Uh, you are going to make uh, three double crochet stitches in each. And then in the second row, second round, sorry, you are going to make a, a one DC, one double crochet in each double crochet, back loop only to create this beautiful detail here. Okay, so this is the way you make this cute ruffle skirt. Hello everybody, my name is Adriana Bayoko and today I'm going to show you how to uh, make this detail on the shoes. So as you can see, I've already made in one and now I'm going to make the second. Cut a strand to 20 inches, you know, just long enough that you can do that. Use your crochet hook, insert into one front loop and then, you know, align edge and then you are going to crisscross on back and bring back to front and tie a bow and before oh just a second okay and of course you're going to try to make two similar bows but before you trim the excess, tie a little knot. And then after that, you are going to trim. So this is the way you make these details. See, how cute. Thank you for watching, see you next time. Hello everybody, my name is Adriana Bayoko and today I'm going to show you how to embroider the nose onto the snout. 
you are going just to start, you see this magic circle is here, you start from this part up, then you are going to, from of course, from the wrong side, you are going to insert your needle and wrap around many times to form the nose. This is the way it's simple. You can make it bigger or smaller as you want. Thank you for watching. Hello, everybody. My name is Adriana Bayoku, and I'm back here to show you the years for this project. We are almost at the end, and it's getting so cute and beautiful. Ears. Make two, crocheting the round, just to make sure that you have the same number of rounds for each ear. And then the pattern shows how to make this beautiful bow here that you are going to tie uh, onto one ear. Just follow the pattern and remember to leave tails, okay? To sew the ears onto head and also the bow onto one ear. Thank you very much for watching. Hello everybody, my name is Adriana Bayoko and I'm going to show you how you're going to tie her shoes. You are going to cut a 20 strand, two strands to 20 inches, and then you are going to insert into the central front loop, a line sides, and then you are going to crisscross at back, bring back to front, and then tie a bow. You trim excesses and remember to make one knot on each edge to keep it secured. So this is the way you tie her shoes. Hello everybody, my name is Adriana and I am back here for our last video. So I'm going to show you how to sew this knot and the ears onto head. You are going to start, you know, first you centralize this knot and start sewing around. But before finishing, you see, insert some stuff in. And then you are going to finish sewing. The ears, as you can see here, use the pins to position them onto head, you know, verify the same, the space, if they are aligned, you know, with the eyes. And then sew the bow onto one ear. So this is the end. I hope you enjoyed the process and have fun with your new Amigurumi. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.